Well, good morning. Hope you're doing well today. Another beautiful morning. God has given us. Hearing animals begin to make their noise is, is just awesome as you sit out here in the still of the morning. And uh, you just listen to the quietness of nature and then listening to the uh, animals come alive to wake up. And you know, I want to talk to you about that this morning found in Psalms chapter 27 verse 14 talks about something that's very hard for individuals to do. Uh, and it happens to all of us. I've seen people today that I knew were very patient people, never seemed to let anything upset them, never seemed to get in a rush. But even they sometimes get impatient. But listen what Psalms chapter 27, verse 14 says. Wait on the Lord. Be of good cheer, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. That's the psalmist talking, uh, the psalmist David. And it said David, when he prayed in his time of trouble, he realized how dependent he was on God. And that's something you and I need to realize today as children of God, how dependent we are on him. When we pray for a need, we pray and ask for help. We pray and ask for deliverance from a problem. We must understand. God knows more about it than we do because he knows the future. He knows what's coming up, our, coming our way. He knows when that answer is needed. He knows when that financial blessing is really going to be needed. And what we must learn to do is to wait upon the children, or wait upon God as his children. Uh, think about this. God is never early. He never comes with an answer before we need it, even though we think we need it now. I remember the uh, old commercial, people are screaming out of a window, it's my money and I know I want it now. Well, guess what? Sometimes now ain't the answer. Now ain't the time. God knows when the answer is needed. God is also never late. We may think he's late. Uh, they thought he was late when before he ever got there to where Lazarus was at because Lazarus died. They were expecting him to show up before Lazarus died and heal him of the sickness that he had. But God and Jesus had a better plan. We're going to show you who we are. We're going to show you the power that we have. And so Lazarus died after Jesus tarried for a few days. But then Jesus showed him that he was truly the Son of God. He knows what he's doing. Do you know, you know what a problem, our problem is? We've been around Jericho six times and we're ready to quit. When the Israelites had to walk around Jericho, think about that. They wanted to go ahead and rush in fight the battle, win the battle, take it over. But God said, no, we're going to do it my way. I want you to go in up there and walk around it one time today and go back home. I want you to go up there tomorrow and walk around it again and go home. It sounded ridiculous to them, but God had a plan. God knew if you'll do it my way, things will be successful. How many times have we prayed, waited, and then rushed out and did it ourselves like Abraham and Sarah did? And the problems that created, instead of waiting upon God to give them that heir, his, his son that was going to take over as he, he got older, how, how, how much did they mess it up when they got the handmaid to have a child? We do the same thing if we fail to wait on God. We will mess up the plan that God has. He's just waiting on the time. Remember what the Word of God says? My ways are not your ways, and my thoughts are not your thoughts. God has a better plan sometimes. So what we need to do is learn to wait on the Lord. And I like what he says. Wait on the Lord. Be of good cheer, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. It's hard sometimes when we were kids growing up to have to listen to Mom and Dad said, Not today, son, not today. We got a, we got a plan. Just give us time. That is one of the hardest things to do sometimes as a, as a child and sometimes even as an adult. But I pray today, folks, let's wait on the Lord and trust in him completely to take care of us and to do what we need done in our life. Lord, thank you so much for being a God that already knows the answers needed and when. God, we know today that if we will wait on you and trust in you, things will work the way they should. And Lord, we just pray today, help us to have the patience that we need to have in our life today to learn to wait upon you for the answer. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.
May God richly bless you today is my prayer.